All right, another cold as shit. Michigan morning. I woke up, it was in the low single digits. We're going to a thrift store, check out a Dollar Tree to see if they have any new stuff in, and uh, go, go back to the warehouse and pack some orders. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy hanging out with me today. We'll learn some stuff. We'll talk about how to make some money reselling, and uh, who knows what else. I saw some Disney CDs here. Uh, individually, they're not worth that much, but they're only 50 cents a piece here. So I've got, I think like there's four here. I found a few more on the shelf. There's some pretty cool uh, Bob Marley and Ziggy Marley cassette tapes to the right. But these uh, these CDs, these Disney CDs, I'm gonna lot them up uh, in a lot of however many I have, and I'll sell them for three bucks a piece. Not a huge flip, but you know it's good enough. Good good start. Here's a low demand, low supply item. I'll charge like forty bucks for it. It's an autographed CD. Uh, the band has some movement on eBay, not a lot, but for fifty cents, I'll roll the dice. I'm looking for anything that's new and sealed. This Kadu Cranium board game goes for forty bucks, forty five bucks on Amazon, six bucks in the store. I will FBA that. Thought that might be a leather-bound Bible. It wasn't, but always keep an eye out for leather-bound Bibles. They have great resale value. Cell phone cases, though, eh, not so much. Same with McDonald's toys. Some do sell, but often they don't really, they're not worth that much money. Uh, I found an entry door, uh, like a, a doorknob. So what happens is people replace their doorknobs and the, the handles and that kind of stuff on their house, and they put the replaced hardware in the boxes and donate the boxes. Um, they're not really worth selling. Maybe you'll get a few bucks for it, but unless you have the key with it, it's more hassle than it's worth. Here's a pretty great find, a Star Wars Clone Wars helmet. It's an audio helmet, it plays sounds, you can see the speakers right there. Definitely fits an adult size head. I saw this, I knew right away to look it up. Uh, I used Google Lens to figure out what it was, I'm not like a Star Wars aficionado, but using that kind of stuff, using eBay, using Google Lens, you can generally figure out what something is even if you don't know off the top of your head. Sometimes pool floats are a great flip. This one, only about worth $15. The larger ones, like a killer whale or a giant donut, those might go for like 40 bucks, but this one goes back on the shelf because it's not worth that much. Here's what I got. This is the, probably the coolest thing, the um, Clone Wars Stormtrooper helmet. Pretty cool. VCR, it's a clock I can sell on Amazon. And then um, these are all, it's just media, nothing really that special here. Uh, some new, new in package stuff. I'm gonna lot up the Disney CDs, some Lego C uh, DVDs I'll lot up, but pretty much just basic, you know, thrift store essentials. I wanna talk a little bit more about that Star Wars helmet. It's really cool, it's like an adult size, it talks, that kind of stuff, but it's a variation, it's a variant. It's the Target exclusive version. So there's a regular one at all other stores online on Amazon probably, and there's this Target exclusive, uh, and it sells for about three times as much as the regular one. This is a common thing that a lot of these stores like Target does. Target has their own variations of sports cards, their own variations of toys and action figures. Walgreens has their own variations of Funko Pops, uh, and they do this to separate themselves from online marketplaces uh, like, you know, or Walmart, or just big, big stores with a, a lot of people uh, who might, you know, not go to Target because they go to the cheaper option first. And this works for us as resellers in, in two ways. In the first way, you can go to those stores and buy it and usually get, you know, a five, ten dollar premium on eBay when you sell it because not everyone can go to those stores. It's in fewer places, so there's just a smaller supply. Uh, and because they're usually based off these franchises or these big brands, the demand is pretty consistent, pretty big. The second way it benefits us is if you can find these and you can identify them in thrift stores or garage sales or wherever, you're gonna make a pretty decent amount of money because not only are they not being produced in as high as quantity as, as the regular model, they're also not in stores. And so you have those two layers of scarcity uh, that you can capitalize on as uh, you know a reseller. And so whenever I can find that stuff, I'm always happy. It's cool. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to put it on, see how it is. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm going to pick up Ashley. We're going to get lunch. She doesn't work today. And then I'll go to one more thrift store, go back to the warehouse, do some shipments, do an FBA shipment. And uh, then the day's going to be over. Ashley, <laughs> how did the frog lose his car? It was towed. So we were gonna go to a Blaze Pizza because they have a lot of gluten-free options. And we go up here and it says, 
staffing issues. The store will be closed for a while as we deal with staffing issues. Please visit our other A2 that's Ann Arbor store, Eisenhower Parkway. Sorry, no Blaze Pizza for you. At our second thrift store now, I found a Carhartt hoodie. Five bucks here at this store. Should go for about 35, 40 bucks on eBay. It's a large, no rips, no tears. Maybe this is the kind of thing I could like tie dye or give some bleach damage design, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll just sell it. Carhartt is a very strong brand. This Jeep jacket was kind of interesting. Uh, they're not worth that much. I didn't go through any more clothes because this rack was packed so full I couldn't even see them with one hand. You ever notice how they do that sometimes? Why do they do that? Why are the racks packed so full? I like this Goodwill because even though they cherry pick the good stuff, they price everything at a flat rate. Boots like this are all $8. This is a Merrill Gallatin Men's Hiking Boot, size 12. Good size, no damage to the sole, no tears, no holes, no rips. These are listed right now by someone else for $130 bucks plus shipping and Merrill's a great brand a lot of sell through could not find any exact comps on those boots but I feel like if I put them at 99 bucks free shipping I will definitely sell them fast here's a reseller hack this is the fearless set by Francine Pascal it's a, a book series even though these books are not worth selling individually if they had more demand I would have bought them as a set usually you can get three or four bucks per book there was not a lot of demand for that so I left it on the shelf but anytime you see a series of books we you know with numbers on the side always look up what the entire set goes for in its entirety. Or a portion of the set, there's like 70 of those Fearless books, still would have sold 12 I've been having great luck finding Starbucks stuff recently, especially if you watch the past few videos that want a buck 99 for this 2019 Starbucks tumbler. It goes for about 20 bucks on eBay right now, but as supply goes away in the market, the price will go up because demand for Starbucks products is very high. I saw two cool things on the cart, this Sonic Alert alarm clock, any alarm clock with a gimmick is generally worth looking up. I will sell this one on Amazon for about $25, 30 bucks. Not a huge flip, but still pretty decent. Over in the corner of the rack, I saw a glass bake mug. It says a bunch of baseball stuff. It says rhubarb on there too. I don't know why. Is rhubarb a baseball term? I thought it was a vegetable. You tell me. I don't know. Uh, these sometimes are worth a lot of money. Like, look up Snoopy glass bake mug if you're bored sometime on eBay. This one, however, though, only worth about 10, 15 bucks. So I put it back on the shelf. But what I saw when I put it on the shelf, really really caught my eye this is a taxidermy taxidermized piranha it's a piranha isn't that crazy for a buck 99. now this one maybe it's a long shot there's definitely demand there but that's not the best taxidermy job it's kind of goofy it's only a dollar 99 though and it's so cool even if i can't sell it that's the kind of thing i want to keep okay so a quick in and out but i want to really show you this the piranha i bought uh i'm pretty sure it's a piranha the eyes are a bit suspect, but those are the uh, those are the teeth. You know, either somebody had some fun with a bluegill or this is a real piranha. Um, how am I gonna ship this, right? That's why I kind of had to like pause, like how am I gonna, what am I gonna do with this thing? It's very light. I don't think it weighs more than, that's better than the light. I don't think it weighs more than four or five ounces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it in bubble wrap, I guess and then have it sitting up like this in a six by six by six cube. And I, it's just so delicate. I don't know. I'm really worried that anything but bubble wrap is gonna cause the tail to break off. And even then it's so delicate. What do you think? How would you ship this? I'm very curious to hear what you would do in the comments and would you even buy it? I mean, it's going for like 40, 50 bucks. So the numbers are there, but just it's so, unique okay so something kind of annoying happened whatever uh, i had a guy buy two items from me that were 50 bucks a piece so i'm making like 35 bucks profit on those uh and then he messages me like 20 minutes ago saying hey can these be here by january 1st or january 31st sorry which is uh, in a few days and i say yeah, okay you know sure let me look at it the guy's in california uh and it's 4:45. So I had to quick hustle and package this stuff. And I'm actually, I gave him second day UPS mail. And so what should I have done here? Um, probably the most prudent thing to do may have been to cancel the sale. But I think that sometimes if you're in this line of work, you have to kind of enjoy 
giving people things. You know, you have to enjoy selling things. And so I figured, you know what? Give this guy a free upgrade. He'll get his stuff. It was a birthday gift for his twin daughters. He's happier. I'm making, you know, 15 bucks less because of the, the shipping cost. But it's just, that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, and you don't want to get too greedy or too stingy or expect too much of people because you're, you know, that's going to make you uh, resent your business. So on that note, I'm going to get out of here. I got to go back and do the rest of my shipments. It's already the end of the day, uh, but that's how it goes sometimes. Oh, and I have a secret, secret message for you guys. If you've been watching the past videos, we have had a few of these messages. The secret message today is the letter N. Write down the letter N. 